Hey guys, welcome to another Mr. Mutech video. Today we're going to be talking about the voice control feature on your iPhone device. You may have noticed that your voice control icon here in the top corner is grayed out, and that could be for several reasons. We're going to go over what those reasons could be today and how to resolve that. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and go to the voice control settings on our iPhone device. So please go ahead and tap on the settings icon. And once you go there, go ahead and scroll down until you see the option for accessibility. Once you tap on accessibility, then go ahead and scroll down until you see voice control. Go ahead and tap on voice control. And you wanna make sure that this is toggled on if it's not already toggled on. So toggle that on again. So if you notice, turn it off, turn it on, and then notice if that turns blue. If it doesn't, there might be some other issues and we're gonna tackle those things. So when you turn on voice control, it usually needs to download some files or use specific language files to interpret the data. So we want to go ahead and tap under language here, and we want to see if those language files are existing. So for me specifically, I have United States English, but it also decided to download Canada English. So something that you might do if you have multiple languages here, just go ahead and tap on a different language and then go ahead and tap back on the language that is yours. What I noticed on mine was it had stayed grayed out uh, until I had tapped a few times back and forth and then it went it went blue. So that could be one thing that you could look at. The other thing could be related to your connection. So if you have a poor connection, you're going to want to make sure that if there is some downloaded file that needs to be pulled in that you have a strong Wi-Fi connection and not a weak cell connection. So if possible, just go ahead and go to your Wi-Fi, go ahead and enable that and make sure you have a strong connection. That might be another thing you wanna do. And then obviously you can restart your device if you are having trouble and sometimes restarting it might resolve that issue. But if not, there's one other thing that you may wanna go ahead and check that's also in the settings area. So we're going to go ahead and just back out here and look at that. When you go to settings on your device, you want to go ahead and scroll down to the battery function. So go ahead and go down to battery and just make sure that you don't have low power mode on because if you have low power mode on, sometimes that can also cause the voice control function to not operate properly. So those are some things that you might want to do. Hopefully that was helpful for you and you get this resolved. If this was helpful, feel free to give me a thumbs up and Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Take care.